Pleasant Gap, 170,000. Tylersville, 400,000. Belfont, 400,000. Oswego, 500,000. Corey, 400,000. And 400,000 for Reynolds Gill. All come out of this one room. Using science that seems a bit like trickery, Pennsylvania fish hatcheries are giving Mother Nature a jump start and Pennsylvania anglers bigger brown trout to catch each spring. The lighthouse program allows us an extra three to four months of growth on them because we can hatch these fish in July instead of hatching them in November or December. We have well water. It runs right around between 50 to 52 degrees. So the extra three months of growth is key to us making a size by the following spring. After brown trout naturally spawn in late fall, staff at southern hatcheries like Reynoldsdale hand select fish for the lighthouse program. We're manipulating the daylight on these fish. We will take them as a two-year-old fish and we will actually strip the eggs out when they become sexually mature so we get a viable fish. It starts in December and in June we're spawning. Normally we would not be spawning until late October or November. That cuts the time to getting these fish in the water by up to a year. We usually get the eggs in mid-July from the Reynoldsdale hatchery. The fry hatch within 10 days, typically, of us receiving them. There'll be sack fry, there'll be swim up fry, from the swim up fry to fingerlings, and then the fingerlings go to adults. And those brown trout adults gain a lot of weight. They might only be 10 or 11 inches long, but they'll weigh the same as what a 12 or 13 inch rainbow might weigh. The anglers really like them. I like them too because so I fish for them.